Yeah, hi. It is time for your late night raw review. Happy 4th of July, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Independence Day. Also, a happy belated Canada Day. I hope that doesn't. I hope that doesn't mean cops are arresting people just because they're using Fourth of July fireworks. Maybe just stupid people. Um, you know the people who should be arrested are people who are trying to make Fourth of July cancel because they're going to pretend that oh, America is not freedom or. You know, God forbid they won't let me murder kids or whatever, have abortions and blah blah blah. I can't do whatever on my body, my body, my toys. Or like, yeah, God forbid you can't take responsibility and yeah, I don't know. Anyways, happy 4th of July, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to talk about Raw, and Raw happened to be on 4th of July. I will say I'm happy that I at least got to do something. I mean, not like a we didn't really do like a barbecue or whatever, but at least we had fireworks and we just I just spent time with my family members who were visiting from Canada. Um, so yeah, it's good stuff. Um, what's not good stuff is Raw, and definitely during Raw, basically when when it got dark, we just basically went out and just did the fireworks, and that was definitely more exciting than Monday Night Raw. So they try to pretend that Raw was going to be very big tonight with these matches. And, like, these matches are really not exciting enough to make you freaking watch this show. Okay? Doesn't help that this show lacks stars. No star power. And not just that. It just, it's like, who freaking cares? How is it that years ago? Like, I'm even seeing... What, what I was, was going to say. Like, how is it... For me, to me, like, one of the, like, two impactful episodes, like, actually, no, you know, this is, because here's the thing. Back in the day when Raw used to be on 4th of July or SmackDown, right? So I think, like, years ago, way years ago, like, back in 2005, they had 4th of July, and that was still exciting. You know, how is it that Raw, from so many years ago, back in 05, it had better star power than this? And even 2002, when, you know, that legendary SmackDown, when Hulk Hogan won the tag titles with Edge and stuff like that, you still had people, I understand that show was taped, but I'm willing to bet you, no matter what, if they were able to have freaking Raw, which was live at the time still, they were able to have guys like Cena, who was the champion or whatever, and all these people who were champions during 4th of July, how were they way better than this? Heck, I, I hate to say this, I hate to go back to this shit, but like even how was the PG era when there was like Raw and SmackDowns during the... I mean, maybe more than these, mainly Raw, I believe. How is it that during Raw... I didn't even freaking... What what was it? They did Smack Super SmackDown. They did a Fortune Lie. A, a Super SmackDown. Remember when they did SmackDown Great American Bash Edition? When they did it on the Tuesday, they actually had it live. And that was like actually exciting somewhat. Way back... Like, what does that tell you? How is it that SmackDown and Raw's, even during the PG era, were way better than Raw and SmackDown's today? That just goes to show that modern wrestling shit and wrestling fucking sucks. It's not me looking at this nostalgic. It's just this freaking truth. And Raw and SmackDown were freaking dog shit at that time. Definitely way better in 2005. But how is that? How is that the fucking case? That, I mean, let's just be honest. Yeah, wrestling fucking sucks. It just sucks. It's not worth freaking just staying home and you know what? No. I'm sorry. Not worth And I like. I understand it's a Monday. A lot of people are gonna still probably be a bit home because like Monday people don't really do anything. Because you know you had to work the next day. That's why you mainly do, might do, do things on a Sunday or whatever. But like for real man. This. This raw. Like not worth it. Like what? So much for the quality. The quality really went down for this show it, it, it like what happened to wrestling man so much of the quality has gone downhill like seriously anyways grab the coca cola drink man if we spy me some bitches go oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit cheers and i knew this was it was gonna be dog shit by the start like that's the thing like it's not like freaking cena was gonna be here tonight not that like I mean, I, I'm not trying to act like a Cena fan, but like, because I'm not this big Cena fan, 
Like, I get it. When I was a kid, I liked Cena because, you know, that's when every kid basically liked Cena because, you know, you can't really blame people who were fans of Cena when they were kids because, like it or not, Cena does appeal, has the appeal to the children. But, you know, but the, other than that, like, at least he looked like a wrestler and act like a wrestler, you know, even though it was PG shit or G-rated horse shit. But I do, I hate the, but obviously... It's stupid that people are gonna act like this guy is just as good as, as Stone Cold when he's not. You know what I mean? But yeah, at least like no, no Cena, no fucking Reigns, sadly. No, uh, I mean, if, who knows? Like, if fucking SmackDown was on Fourth of July, would it? I mean, the thing is, it wouldn't even make a difference. I don't even think was there SmackDown even on Fourth of July? Actually, no. Yeah, because. I just remembered. The reason why the fact that recently has been 4th of July because of the leap year shit. And I bet you maybe something at least, but like, because at least Range will be on SmackDown, but that's the problem. Like, Range should be on both shows. And apparently it's going to be on SmackDown, though. Wow, great. What the fucking do? But yeah, no Star Power, no Lesnar, no, no anybody. Like, can we have something happening? Oh, we're going to have a... No Hulk's Barred bullshit match where you're gonna just be see a bunch of candlesticks and a bunch of chairs. Cause apparently, uh, uh, having apparently I don't know why nowadays. Why is there when there's so many when there's no disqualification match nowadays? There gonna be a bunch of chairs. That same shit with Hell in a Cell. Why is there so many fucking chairs in the match? Can you actually like have some variety of weapons instead of just a bunch of fucking chairs? I don't know. I just think to me that's like ir irritating. As much as I like chairs, but like. God damn, it's so irritating. Um, oh, wow. A six-man tag bullshit with people I don't really care about. Like, wow. And, yeah, so the show started with freaking your topical 4th of July celebration. I thought you were going to go, you know, you know, wholesome that, you know, honoring the people who passed away or whatever, you know, our freedoms or whatever. But, no, it's a cheesy, terrible... Horseshit ass opening where the the narrator basically said stupid super or super I'll call them stupid stars the stupid stars catchphrases like burn it down uh, party it up or big time it it was g it was corny it was cheesy and not just that it was cringy and terrible it was terrible. Who fucking does the voices nowadays? I, I swear. You don't have the old guy, like the old people, like, you have like, this Monday and Monday Night Raw. Like, you know, it's like fucking not exciting, like, this Monday and Monday Night Raw. Like, I don't, I, I can't do the voice, but it's like, remember back in the day when they actually had, I don't know, it was a better voice. I don't know who do the voices now, like, to promote a show. Whoever they have now, they're terrible. Oh, TV's just terrible anyways, anyone. What can you do with the coke? Uh, anyways. <sighs> anyways, let's talk about this show, huh? So yeah, it started with the stupid corny ass, um, and stupid ass video package. It was not good at all. Um... Yeah, then the, the stupid announcing of matches that no one's going to be excited to just stick to because it's like, basically, from what I've seen, from what they announced the matches, you you know damn well, you're not going to sit, you're not going to stay on your fucking couch, enjoy this shit. You're not. I'm sorry, it's the truth. You're not going to be excited for this crap. It's terrible. Anyways, um... Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Especially like, oh, tonight we're gonna see Mr. Money Bing. Yeah, knowing that he's a raging homosexual, I don't want that. I don't want to see him. So raw story with Bobby Lashley celebrating after the fucking stupid video package announced uh, announced the matches. By the way, the freaking they have this guy who sound like fucking British or whatever. The guy's terrible. I'm sorry, no charisma at all. This guy looks like an underwear model, like or just a gay. I don't know, just it. He, he looks like those kind of beta male dudes, like a fucking, I don't know. I, I hate to say that, but just the truth. Maybe the guy's a nice guy. I don't fucking know. 
As much as I don't give for give a shit about the commentary nowadays, at least the Jimmy Smith guy, I guess I'm just used to him. Even though, my God, Raw has terrible commentary. Like, seriously, what happened to us in commentary nowadays? Like, it's it's terrible. And this is like the first time. Also, the problem like this show was like the first time I cut like I had people over. This is their first time watching Raw in a few years, you know, since COVID happened or whatever. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Thankfully, we had fireworks to just go out and, like, an excuse to not watch this shit, so. Because who fucking cares? So, the show started with Bobby Lashley celebrating his U.S. title win. Uh, listen, I'm, I like Lashley. He's fine, you know. But I'm sorry, this promo... I, I, I can see why people don't like Lashley. This guy struggled cutting a good promo. The guy, he doesn't really have that... I don't know, he's probably... He's better as a heel, I would say. He's one of those people that I guess, like, he's only good as a heel. Him acting like a baby face with the fucking promo did not help. I'm sorry, the promo was not good. He's saying, you know... Yeah, let the party... I don't know, something about let the party begin and says, you know... It's not, it's the era of the almighty, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's really not exciting. I'm, I'll be honest with you. Then Theory interrupts. Great. So, like, obviously the fans hate him. And people say, oh, see, he got good heel heat. How about because he's fucking terrible? Like, ever heard of people who, like, legit are terrible? Like, do you think, do, you, do people really think The Miz is that great? The only reason why people think The Miz is great, because, oh, the stupid anti-Sparks think that, you know, the guy is good. That's why, you know, because the Sparks hate him. Just because the Sparks doesn't like people doesn't mean the person is good. You know what I mean? Just saying. Because here's the thing. Sparks, when they say that, you know, oh, she's giving the heel, he no. Sparks, the problem with Sparks now is they like heels now. And, like, the, that's stupid. Because the heel, first of all, there, nobody is really legit good in wrestling anymore. The only legit guy that apparently, again, who can draw heel heat is Roman Reigns. And that's good. But then he still gets cheers, you know? And obviously that's weird, but hey. But there's a reason why Reigns works. But obviously you got still people, the reason why they boo him, because they act like Reigns is, he's a chosen one. How dare he be a uh, chosen than uh, my beautiful Brian or something. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Some people say that's also the problem with Theory or why people don't like Theory because he's the chosen one. But the thing is, he to me, he's obviously like the example of a wrong person to be chosen, you know? Why well, keep seeing chosen as like fucking chosen as fuck from Cobra Kai? And why do people pretend to like chosen? Like, what's the big deal about chosen? You didn't even really give a shit about fucking the Karate Kid too? I don't think so. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just like, oh, chosen guy, chosen! Chosen was the first guy to the throne, uh, freaking, or he was able to hit, land a hit on uh, Miyagi. Who gives a fuck? That's some stupid fucking an uh, uh, statistic, bruh. Anyway, so Theory comes out, and again, he's gay. I, I, uh, whenever I see him now, he's a fucking gay dude who sh like to showcase his buttholes on fucking the web or whatever to show it to dudes. That is not cool, okay? That's not cool. I'm sorry. Every wrestler is weird and gay now. And if you have a problem with me saying things or that's homophobic, well, you, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. And the guy, the guy has no charisma as all, at all, too. This theory guy, oh, but he, oh, he's reacting to fans, though. No, the guy, that's like, he's just basically talking like a regular guy with no charisma. But, oh, see, yeah, I don't care. Oh, anybody can do that. Anybody can freaking do that. The reality doesn't have that charisma, okay? Oh, but he's hateable. Who gives a fuck? The guy has no charisma. The guy is shit. Doesn't look the part, act the part. And I just can't. I honestly, wow. The guy is gay. I can't get. I'm sorry. If you're, if you act gay. Just like legit. Freaking shout out to freaking Rod and Sim or whatever. Rod and Games Wrestling Ranter as he used to be known. I do think the name Rod and Games matches you more. Or Ronanism, whatever. The guy comments on my channel. The guy's bisexual himself. And if, and I could just tell from him, the guy treats, treats himself as respectful. Legit, there's fucking gay dudes I know that would treat themselves more respectful than this shit. How does that tell you? I know because freaking like when I was in college, like going to school, you're gonna meet various types of people, right? 
But like, I even met like a forty year old who's gay, right? He's he's a, he's all right. He's a cool guy. Obviously, he's like very gay, but like, well, it's not. But he's like, he treats himself with respect. And the guy, like, he's four years old, right? Very older than me. He went back to high school, college for some reason, but, like, to get some education or whatever, which I can respect. He's actually a famous uh, guy, actually. He's actually part of this flooding called the... the he, he's, he's known as the Miracle Child. Let me say that. I actually know this guy. He's known as the Miracle Child. He was part of this famous flood. He was featured on the History Channel. So I actually happened to meet him and he, in, in a class, and he was actually a nice guy. Sure, he happens to be gay, but, you know, and obviously he's, like, very liberal. I think he knows I'm, I'm a conservative, but he doesn't mind me. I guess that's kind of cool, you know, that's a cool thing. As long as you treat people with respect, that's cool. But, like, when you got a guy like that, that who treats himself with respect, you know, like, and he's gay, like, that's why I can respect, okay? When you got people who are in the wrestling business and they're tr they're fucking doing shit, they're trying to you know basically everything the opposite that what Undertaker has endorsed and basically doing what Undertaker has like bashed, like you know oh try to be pretty or whatever. It's like that's the fucking problem. And I'm sorry, doing weird shit is not cool as a wrestler. How is Ant? You know that's a sad thing too. Anthony Bowens in the wrestling business, he's gay. And how the fuck does he treat himself respect and it seems like less gayer than all these guys? How does that, how, tell me, someone tell me, how is Anthony Bowens, a legit gay wrestler in AEW, treat himself with more respect than fucking Austin Theory and Ricochet? How is that? I don't know what to tell you, but yeah. The Mysterious, so the first match, the Mysterious, I love the fans, defeated ju the Judgment Day by disqualification after Ray pulls and Eddie Guerrero. Like, what's... <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. Isn't, that, what, isn't that something, huh? The Judgment Day and they're losing. What a joke this group has become, huh? What a joke. And not that I care, because I don't give a fuck about the secret bisexuals. That's what they are. Judge, the Judgment Day more like the secret bisexuals. That's what they are. Uh, then the Street Profits hold a 4th of July cookout, and then the Alpha Academy crashes it, and they, Gable tries to give a history lesson, lesson, but Ford says, as Ford says, slap him, a hot dog, and I don't know, and this is basically, they're ripping off Joey Chestnut. Oh, we're gonna do a hot dog eating contest, whoop the fucking do. So they're trying to rip off the whole cliche, you know, hot dog eating contest, a fortress lie, blah, blah, blah. That's what they're freaking doing. It's like not even cool. Uh, it's not even done properly or well. It's not even funny. You know what I mean? AJ Styles defeats The Miz. After the match, Champa attacks AJ. No one freaking cares. So what? Like, why is Champa and Miz together? No one freaking knows. And. Great, we're gonna, this is like a dumb feud and like no one cares about this shit. Who cares? The Judgment Day attacks the Mysterios backstage and no one cares. Like they're already, their credibility is shit, okay? You wanna know why? Their credibility has been ruined a long time ago because they're secret about Uh, Then Liv Morgan comes out to celebrate being a new SmackDown Women's Champion. Here's the problem. Listen, I love Liv Morgan. I only love her because fucking she's hot. That's it. And she's invited to my big cloud couch any day. But here's the fucking problem. I'm sorry, but like the promo is shit. A lot, this is the problem with women's wrestling. Like people like to pretend, you know, care about women's wrestling. But I'm sorry. Just do hot shit and you're fine. Okay? No one cares about women's wrestling. I mean, if... I hate to say it. It sounds sexist. But the cat fights are cool. You know, why not do... I fight like a girl. Like seriously... Because seriously, you don't see girls that, I'm, I'm sorry, girls still fight cat fight. I don't know. And you know, back in the day, if there was, if it was Fortress of July, you know damn well. And apparently Liv Morgan's like, she's like an advocate for this. Why not have fucking enough celebrate, like, you know what? I became the champion, it's time to strip myself. Like, fuck, that's, that's fucking hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's the American dream right there. But nope. We're gonna just have fucking stupid women's goddamn wrestling bullshit because... We're going to pretend to care about women's wrestling because, you know, stupid feminist crap and stupid people in charge. And, you know, it's it's the woke thing to do. 
God forbid, wrestling, you know, and and that's the sad thing. If they even try to be the Attitude Era, you're gonna get smarky fans complaining. You're gonna get all these fucking people complaining. You know, you can never make anybody happy. Instead of fucking WWE saying, shut the fuck up, who fucking cares? Let's fucking try to be wrestling cool again. No, let's fucking appeal to the SJW snowflakes. Let's try to be kind of care about women's goddamn wrestling and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Especially since Stephanie McMahon has power, like, she ain't gonna let that happen. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Liv Morgan. Uh, the co promo was kind of dog shit, I'm sorry. She's not dog shit, but she, she, the promo is not good at all. Then Nanny Nightfur comes out and says, She's the, oh, you're only champ because of me, blah, blah, blah. And then Carmella coming out. You know, she's saying, she must be for women, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm sorry, you ain't beautiful at all. Like, you look like a cunt. Seriously. Like, plastic, I'm sorry. Like, plastic ruins a chick, bruh. I don't know what plastic surgery she got, but she looks terrible. Seriously, it ruins her. You know, if you, if you want to make a good feud, you should do Liv Morgan, Carmella, maybe like, you know, her, I'm the sexy bitch in the world. Then you got Liv Morgan being the sexiest. That's how you do wrestling. That's how fucking cool wrestling 101 added to your ruthless aggression type of shit go is good. But no, let's not do that because you gotta be fucking progressive and whatever. I don't know. Some stupid shit. But then, you know, they attack Liv Morgan and Bianca Bell. Yeah, bitch, sexy black bitch. Mm hmm. Got my big weave and shit. Cancel 4th of July. It's time about June teeth, bitch. Mm hmm. Ah, shut the fuck up. Fuck, fuck all those people that act like Juneteenth. Like, oh, we need to care about Juneteenth, man. Fuck you. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's cool, you know, celebrating the day of slavery. But, like, God forbid, you know, a day that's all about independence for all. Oh! Bush, like, fuck you. That's what I say. Fuck you to those people. Bianca Belt, yeah, so, and then, you know, typical bullshit, you know. Let's make a tag team match, player. And no one fucking cares. Except it's fucking more worse because it's Adam Pierce doing it. He's a boring ass motherfucker. I hate Adam Pierce. I'm, I'm like, seriously. Is it a problem? Why not actually build to this? Like, we have to see. Great, we have to see this stupid ass match that lasted so, so long. During this shit, you know, we go from, you know, taking a shit break, bathroom break, to literally just. We're gonna just go outside and fucking lit up the fucking fireworks break. That's what it was. That's all it was. You know what I mean? So that's what we did, and apparently, yeah, the champions won, and no one fucking cares. It is what it is. I mean, good for good, good for Liv Morgan, but it is what it is. Seth Rollins defeats Ezekiel. No one fucking cares, and then Riddle comes out and does the I can't an hour to Seth Rollins for some reason. I mean, I don't care. Akira Tozawa eats forty eight hot dogs, which I think that was like the same amount that Joey Chestnut did today, right? To win the hot dog eating contest. Then Bobby Lashley and Street Profits defeats Theory in the Alpha Academy. Oh, and then he did get the cliche, which basically they ripped off the whole Titus O'Neil throwing up thing, where they tried to make that as a funny thing when it was not funny. So they ripped that off with Otis basically throwing up after the match, and like, who fucking cares? R Troop comes out as Uncle Sam, basically pretends, you know, the uh, thank you for the soldiers from the Independence thing. But not Independence Day, Independence Day movie with Will Smith, which I guess is... It's it's funny in terms, like, it's not funny, but it's funny at the moment, because, you know, you can't really hate our true because at least the guy is trying to be entertaining. That's that kind of shit, right? But then Gunter comes out. For some reason, Gunter's on Raw, so it's like, can you just end a brand split, I guess? I don't fucking know. Gunter squashes him. I guess that's the point. It's fine. You know, I don't mind Gunter too much, honestly, anymore. It's just the problem. It's like, you gotta fucking... Ask, if you're gonna have... You gotta establish this guy as a beast. You can't have him fucking being losing to jobbers or be getting beat up by jobbers. Like, flipping to Ricochet or whatever. You know what I mean? In the main event, Becky Lynch defeats Osuka in a no old bar match. I think before Alexa Bliss... I forgot to mention this on the Money Bank review. Alexa Bliss was like, oh, she, she was talking to Li Lily, and a, a cap. It was basically a product placement bullshit. It's like it was fucking dumb, retarded. And then she was talking to Lily, and uh, again, it's all dumb, retarded. And then Oscar interrupted. And I don't fucking care. And then yeah, 
Becky Lynch wants no holds bar match. It was a bunch of fucking chairs. Uh, all at table spot. I don't care. Becky Lynch had like fucking Asian mist on her, and uh, I'm sorry. And yeah, this was the main event. Really? Why was this main event? This is the problem with wrestling, obviously. Like, when you have women main event, you no one fucking cares. But again, I'm sorry. How is this good to main event the show? I'm sorry. It's bad enough, and if watch, the ratings could be so bad, it's not going to be just because of 4th of July, it's because of this shit. And I believe, back in 2016, that's when the ratings started going down, it was like the 4th of July episode, and I remember the 4th of July, 2016, Raw started to get like one of their lowest ratings in history, and that's like the trend of Raw, of Raw getting ones. That all started because they started to pretend the women matter, and not just that. You know, stupid fucking bullshit ass booking. Basically, this is a house show. Let's be honest, this was a house show. Like Vince Russo said, it's a, it's a house show shit. It's not cool. So Becky Lynch won, I don't fucking care. And it's like great, like a disgusting bitch, tranny bitch won, and against an Asian bitch, and it's like, oh wow, very exciting. Very fucking exciting. And this is what happens when we have no stars. Like, and I'm sorry, I hate to say it, Lashley is like, wow. This guy proved that this guy can't really be on his own. So this show was pretty boring. Very terrible. Uh, definitely a lot of downgrade. Like, at least Cena was there last week. And then Cena actually fucking did so Well, obviously not nothing led to anything. But at least Cena. And he actually kind of helped develop these people. Like, you know, why? Why not care about these wrestlers? It's amazing how much happens in one week, right? And then, like, wow... Street Profits are back to doing stupid, goofy shit. Riddle, uh, bullshit. Uh, everything is bullshit, man. And there's no stars. Like, wait. Why was this the main event? No one fucking cares. Oh, you really think I, so because of no holds bars, people just can make us care? No, thank you. So this was the Great American Trash, I would say. Okay? This was a Great American Trash episode of Raw. A pathetic for 4th of July because... God damn, come on, back in the day, wrestling would be so good, man, like, people would do the fucking barbecue, and then, you know, come back and, you know, enjoy some wrestling, and then after for all would end, maybe the fireworks, right, if there was, like, Raw on 4th of July, or any t night. Now, like, who fucking cares? Because wrestling is dog shit. You talk about hot dogs? Oh, yeah, like, hot, clean hot dogs. Well, they're fucking bunch of hot dogs. Fucking if wrestling was back in the day, fucking people would be doing hot dogs and these shit wrestlers. Anyways, fuck wrestling nowadays. Happy 4th of July. This was the Great American Trash. Boring fucking show. That's what I say, people. Till next time. Till next time. Yeah, bye. Peace. Enjoy your 4th of July. And fuck the people who are trying to cancel 4th of July.